What makes a life worth living? I, I think uh, the answer to that for most people, and I, I stress most people, uh, is their children and grandchildren. They're very, very motivated as a species by our immediate offspring and, and their welfare, their flourishing. Of course, not everybody has children and not every family is happy, but that's a very big part of, of the answer. And it certainly is for me. Beyond that, I think one cannot really feel that life is worth living until one has a meaningful connection to both the dead, the past, and the unborn, the future generations we will never meet. This was Edmund Burke's great insight and reflections on the revolution in France, that the real social contract has been between the living, the dead, and the unborn. A culture that does not make you feel an intense connection to both the dead and the unborn is a culture that fundamentally undervalues humanity. We as, our, 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 as individuals are we're like mayflies. We have a relatively short lifespan in the great scheme of things. That life cannot be meaningful if it is entirely focused on our own gratification, our own accumulation of wealth or whatever it is. And even if all we do is, is look after ourselves and our kids, that's not enough. It's, it's about the people we don't know, don't meet, the dead and the unborn. And history, the study of history is, is one way that I find I can best commune, not only with those vanished generations, the great majority of human beings are dead after all, whoever lived. It's only about 7% who are currently alive. But also history gives one a sense of, of what posterity might possibly think about us. I mean, who in a hundred years will be writing the history? I don't know, maybe there'll be no history, but if there is history to be written, in 100 years or 200 years or 300 years. It's important for us to ask ourselves right now, what will they say? And are we acting in a way that will get us good or bad press when those future histories come to be written?